Alright, it's been a while since I've made a video. I made the video about taking the key off, which got a little more popular than I thought. I got a lot of responses, people asking me to do different keys or the power button or other things. So I'm going to be releasing a few more videos here. I had actually sold this computer and recently acquired it back, so now I actually can do these videos. I'm going to start with the space bar. Alright, here goes. Okay, going to do the space bar here. Real tricky. Um, space bar has a two metal brackets going all the way across it, all the length of it. Um, you can see the corner of it here, so I want to pop it free, just slide this underneath whatever you got. Toothpicks work, but you got to use a lot of them because they start to break. But just slide that along, snap that off, Okay, so we get the top part snapped off. Now the bottom one. Same thing, it's hidden a little bit further underneath there. There it is. See that? Pop off that metal tab all the way along. Okay. Free from the metal brackets. Now we want to get the whole key free back to this side here. Okay, so you can see the plastic crisscross again. Just go right in the middle above it, pop the top off first. This space bar only has two of them. Same trick on the other side. Okay, pull it back away from the front of the key if it doesn't come off right away. Okay, the bottom of it, that bracket in there, this open corner stays at the bottom left corner of the computer. Um, these brackets are a pain in the ass. I'll do what I can to show you how they work. All right, now I'm doing the metal brackets underneath the space bar. So, for those brackets, we'll go to the right side. You can see the metal structure above this there we go this little metal structure right here to get this free you want to pull it all the way back first pull it to the side and it should just kind of pop free there you go um, pull it to the side and back and it'll pop free so the other end just hooks loose. Um, this part up here, much easier. Just pull it over to the side. And there's no trick involved with it at all. Just pull it over and it's loose. This one is a little trickier. This one is much easier. The other side, now they're both just loose. Um, but this is uh, the other side. The bottom one, you have to actually finagle it a little bit to get it to go back in. You have to have it pointing towards the front of the computer hook it in and then bring it back over. The top one, much simpler, it just hooks in. However you can get it in. If I can get it in. Sounds like a personal problem. Okay, got the top part back up here now. 
So hook them back in. It's pretty easy. Well, <laughs> relatively easy. We're not talking motherboard difficult here. Same kind of thing as we got it off. Pull it over to the right. And you should get a spot where it's ready to slide up and back into place. And this one, much easier. Just pull it to the right and there it goes. All right, so we've got the metal brackets back in place. Sorry for the shakiness on some of the video here. Uh, metal brackets back in place. Okay, metal brackets back in place. Now I'm going to put the key back onto the metal brackets. Remember the key goes with this open gap on that metal bracket to the bottom left corner of the computer. So it'll be like this. All right, this is tricky. So I'm going to do the first part and getting the top row to snap onto that metal bracket. Um, I'm not going to lie, none of this is real simple. So we want to get that snap back into place. Okay, so the top is snapped back into place. And I want to get the bottom snapped back in without snapping any of the plastic brackets, those little white parts, if you can. Um, it makes it a lot easier, and, and the, key, the space bar likes to get stuck if you push it down wrong. Um, so I'm going to do that back row the same way as I did the front row. I can't really see what's going on there, but really just kind of some light pressure right along this farthest back edge. And you can hear it snapping back in. So now the key's rocking loose but still held in place. So that's perfect. It's on the metal brackets and not on the plastic brackets. So now to get it back on the plastic bracket, start with the key up towards the top of the key socket. Press it down and also towards the bottom of the keyboard. So pull it towards you and press it down at the same time. If you did it right, it should fit really smoothly. If anything went wrong, it's going to stick. The spacebar likes to do that. So you can watch the beginning of the video again where I show how to take it off. Just be real gentle. Those plastic brackets kind of like to break. Good luck, guys.